Hello everyone, this is The Geneticist and I am your host Zahra. Welcome to the second episode of Decoding Dynasty, where we unravel the tangled threads of history through the lens of modern science. In this episode, we will talk about the King's Crimson Code, Henry VIII and the shadow of his genes. So let's go. The Court of Henry VIII, a tapestry of power, passion, and tragedy. Today, we delve into the enigma of Henry VIII, a monarch whose reign was as turbulent as his personal life. Behind the opulent facade, a silent, invisible force was at work, a genetic legacy that would twist a king's destiny and shape the fate of a dynasty. We know the stories of his six wives, the political machinations, the brutal executions, but what if the true story lies hidden within the very architecture of his DNA? A story of a hidden genetic code, a crimson code, if you will, that could have shaped his destiny. For centuries, historians have grappled with the enigma of Henry VIII, and the question lingered. Why the string of tragic miscarriages, the stillbirths, the king's descent into paranoia and brutality? Why did the dramatic shift from a vibrant, athletic king to a paranoid, tyrannical ruler happen? Historians painted portraits of political stress, of syphilis, of mere chance. But what if the answer lay not in the grand halls of power, but in the microscopic realm of molecular genetics? Recent research suggests a chilling possibility. Henry VIII may have been a carrier of the Kell blood group and possibly a victim of the rare X-linked disorder, MacLeod syndrome. Let's dissect this. You're familiar with the ABO blood typing, but the Kell system is a more subtle yet potent player. At its core, it's a matter of proteins. Kell and XK, linked by a disulfide bond, residing on the surface of red blood cells. Think of it as a molecular handshake, a delicate dance of proteins. If Henry carried the Kell antigen, and his wives, Catherine and Anne, did not, a dangerous immunological clash could have occurred. During a first pregnancy with a Kell-positive fetus, the mother's body, recognizing the Kell antigen as foreign, would produce antibodies. In subsequent pregnancies, these antibodies could attack the fetus, leading to miscarriages and infant deaths. This is not just a historical footnote. It's a molecular drama playing out at the cellular level. But the story deepens. As Henry aged, his behavior shifted dramatically. The robust athlete morphed into a paranoid tyrant. This brings us to McLeod syndrome, a rare X-linked disorder intimately linked to the Kell system. The culprit? The XK gene. This gene encodes the XK protein, a crucial partner to the Kell protein. In McLeod syndrome, mutations, deletions, insertions, even single nucleotide substitutions disrupt this partnership. The result? The XK protein is either absent or dysfunctional. This disruption leads to a cascade of neurological and muscular problems, chorea, cognitive decline, psychiatric disturbances, a molecular storm wreaking havoc on the nervous system. Imagine the intricate network of neurons, the delicate signaling pathways, all thrown into disarray by a single genetic flaw. Now, consider the X-linked nature of McLeod syndrome. Males with only one X chromosome are particularly vulnerable. If Henry inherited the mutated XK gene from his maternal lineage, possibly from his great-grandmother, Jaquetta Woodville, he would have expressed the disorder. This is not just a theory. It's a reflection of the fundamental rules of X-linked inheritance. Imagine a genetic thread passed down through generations, shaping not just a king's personality, but the course of a nation. At the molecular level, we're talking about the absence of the KX antigen, which leads to acanthocytosis, abnormally shaped red blood cells. These cells, along with the progressive neurological damage, painted the portrait of Henry's decline. Think of it as a microscopic rebellion, a cellular revolt against the blueprint of life. The tale of Henry VIII, once confined to the realm of politics and personality, now resonates with the echoes of molecular genetics. This is not just a historical puzzle. It's a testament to the power of our genes, the silent architects of our destinies, it's a story of how a genetic legacy, hidden within the very fabric of our being, can shape not only an individual's destiny, but the course of an entire era. It's a reminder that even the most powerful figures in history are subject to the intricate, often unforgiving laws of biology. And it compels us to ask, how much of our own stories are written in the crimson code of our DNA? And how much of our own lives are shaped by the silent whispers of our genes? If you enjoyed this episode of Decoding Dynasty, please be sure to subscribe and leave a review. We love hearing from you, 
and exploring the historical puzzles that pique your interest through the lens of genetics. Until next time, when we'll unravel another tangled thread of history through the fascinating lens of modern science.